Okay, chapter 16. Just left off, and um, our main character, Coltrane, is seeing a different side of his dad, and he's wondering what life would have been like had he been raised by his dad. Um, he's seen his dad interact with kids in a different way um, than he's seen so far, and again, he hasn't known him his whole life. So he's really getting to thinking. Chapter 16. We turn a corner and at the end of the street, I can see it, the park. After a few minutes, we leave the city behind us and it's like we in the country all of a sudden. Trees everywhere. I can hear the wind blowing on the leaves as we make our way across the grass. We pass a swimming pool with a bunch of kids in it. Some of them see the horses and press their faces up against the chain link fence to get a good look. We mosey down a trail, past some tennis courts. The sound of the city is far off in the distance. I can hear birds chirping, something I ain't heard in a long time. I ease up, feel okay on Boo's back. Harp tells me Fairmount Park is one of the biggest parks in America. So big, you can even get lost in it. We ride, and for a good while, I can't see no buildings no more, only trees. We could be anywhere a thousand miles from the city, I ain't never seen so much trees and stuff. Then I hear it, laughing, music, cheering, and a rumble. We come out through some trees into a clearing and I see what the rumbling is. Two horses racing toward us faster than I ever thought a horse could go. They fly by us, two young guys hooting it up and one of them raises his fist like he won. I look down the other way and all the guys is there. Tex, Bob, and then some cheering, paying off money, Behind them is a bunch of cars, some women sitting on beach chairs with coolers and stuff, a few kids running around chasing each other. This is it, the speedway, Harp says. This is the speedway? It's just a strip of grass in a park. You was expecting Churchill Downs? This is where the real deal is. I shrug, whatever you say. He laughs at me. Boy, what do you know? Black horse trainers started racing retired thoroughbreds here a hundred years ago. How do you think Ch the Chester Avenue tradition got started? The two racers came galloping up to us. Harper, we ain't seen you around here for a while. So it's true, you gonna race? The guy who won smiles. Big D saying you too old, past your prime, and that lightning's racing days are over and done. Who's racing his horse? They look at each other. You don't know? Carmelo. Harper's face changes, gets all grim. Who's Carmelo, I ask. Harper don't answer. So one of the guys pipes in. Carmelo is the new sheriff out here. You're nobody if you don't beat Carmelo, and nobody beats Carmelo. I beat him, Harp says. The guys look at each other. Yeah, Harp, but that was a long time ago. Last time, he whooped. Harp raises his hand. He cheated, cut me off. It's all on video. The guys look at each other, unsure. Harp shrugs. Hey, you want to bet against me? Go ahead. Just make sure it's money you don't need anymore because you ain't going to be keeping it. He turns and ambles toward the starting line, Boo and me following along. When the other guys see him, a cheer goes up. I see Big D dressed in a bright red Sixers jacket and cap and big old shades. Well, well, well. Look who it is. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, he says, grinning. I have no idea what he's talking about. He looks at me. You his son, right? I nod. That's too bad. I hope you don't mind if my horse puts your daddy to shame. Hate to ruin his rep in front of you and all. I see Harp roll his eyes. I shrug. Don't make no difference to me. I'm joking, but Harp gives me a look out the corner of his eye. He's coming, someone shouts. He ain't talking about Harper, because heads turn away from us, and the crowd Mom? splits apart as some slick-looking dude... Mom, can you open the door? What door? I mean, can you open this? Come here, Hollis. Sorry, guys. Real life. Piping in. Come Where's here. Dutch? Where's Dutch? Dutch is out there. Sometimes you just got to stop a reel out and uh, help somebody peel an orange in real life. Here you go, buddy. Go out there and get Dutch. Go find him. Is Dutch hiding? He ain't talking about Harper because heads turn away from us and the crowd splits apart as some slick looking dude with gold rim shades and a black head wrap rides in. 
I don't know nothing about horses, but that horse looks ripped like it's built for speed. The guy rides right up to us, but ignores me. You came back for more, he says to Harp. I came back for a legit race, Carmelo. You gonna keep in your lane? Always do, Harp. You got lightning hopped up on them special vitamins? Harp returns and spits. This horse is 100% natural. Mom, can I natural. Yes. Sorry. Always has been, always will be. They stare each other down like I see fighters do before a boxing match. Finally, Jamaica Bob interrupts. Well, guys, you heard it. It's the rematch of the century. Now who's going to put their money where their mouth is? Suddenly, there's like a rush, and everyone's holding out cash as Bob takes it and writes it down in a little black book. This one's even odds, quarter mile sprint. I don't know who's going to win, but it's going to be good. That's for sure. He turns to Harper and winks. Harper breaks off his stare and leans down to Bob. If I don't win, we'll both have to pack our bags. He hands me the rope attached to my saddle. Tie Boo up to that tree there. Then you can watch with Bob. I look at Carmelo acting all cocky. You win, You gonna win this, Ice Harp? Why, what's it to you? I reach in my pocket. I got 10 bucks to bet. You gonna win? He smiles, nods. Go make some money, son. He says, taking his cowboy hat and plopping it on my head. I never wore no cap cowboy hat before. Don't you need this to race, I ask? But he's already galloping off to the starting line. I tilt my hat so I'll look all fly. Then I try to steer Boo over to the tree. But suddenly, he don't want to move. Giddy up, I yell. Nothing. Boo just stuck to the ground. Them kids who was washing horses earlier is laughing at us, having a good old time. Finally, I got to get off and pull him by his rope. Carmelo passes by, shaking his head and mutters, you don't deserve to wear that hat. I give him the evil eye. I sure hope Harper puts him in big D to shame. And that's where I'm going to stop for today. I'll pick back up um, probably tomorrow, guys. I'm, I'll have time to probably read a chapter um, on a Saturday. Remember, all of your Education Galaxy work officially starts Monday. I am able to log in, kind of see your progress, and um, even message you. I figured that out. So, Corbett, I think I sent you a message. Chase Morrow. Um, if you want to comment on any of these videos so I know you're tuning in, I would love that. Because it truly does just feel like reading to nobody. Okay, have a good day. Enjoy your Friday. And um, keep smiles on your faces. Miss you.